Hello again, and welcome to part three of our Turbo Drive Guide. Firstly, we're going to look at assigning COM ports. Turbo Drive should automatically do this on startup. However, in some cases, you will need to assign them manually. To do this, go to the top menu bar, select Network, and then COM port. From here, select the BVNet port before clicking Done. Now we can link up to our network devices by going online. Simply click on the Go Online button. The triangle should change from red to green. Now all the connected devices should be visible in the left-hand pane. To update firmware, go to Device and Update Firmware. TurboDrive is only operable with correct and up-to-date firmware. The most recent version of the firmware is available for download at turbosound.com. You will then need to locate the appropriate firmware file on your PC. Firmware files are denoted by the DFW extension. Controllers with BVNet cards have different firmware to those without. TurboDrive will stop you installing an inappropriate firmware file, as this will render the unit unusable. A progress bar in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen will monitor the update. At no point should you disturb the update, because doing so will render the device useless, and this means having to return the device to TurboSound for repair. 